Hey, Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. Little proof of life today. Daily News. It's uh, December 8, 2017. Perversion of justice? Really? I don't buy this paper, by the way. It says it's a dollar. It's free. In New York, the newspapers are free if you buy groceries. So I don't support the mainstream media in in, in any respect whatsoever. But it, it is an interesting. I want to I want to talk about a couple of things. But first, this the actual the actual front page is very interesting. Where Al Franken, the uh, comical quote genius uh, of the '90s. Um, resigns over allegations of, of uh, what, what does it say? Allegations over harassment accusations? What the hell is going on in this country? What a pussy. What a pussy. See, I know that, you know, someone had brought to my attention, oh, DSNY, they're going to take all your curse words and, and sew them together, and then they're going to show them to the, to the judge. That's so stupid. That's so, that's so ridiculous, and so amateuristic to think that I wouldn't know that. Anyway, um, I want to. Uh, it was interestingly yesterday. The Daily News had a piece on uh, the guy in Staten Island, the sanitation worker in Staten Island, and I think it's, um, you know, again, the the the. It's not so much. We know the the we know the atmosphere in these in these uh, uh, garages. We know the atmosphere in DSNY enforcement. It, there is there is a an absurd amount of uh, racism and discrimination, and favoritism, and falsification of paperwork. You know, using the paperwork to smear people. Right? We know that, and and that's bad. But what's worse, and I've been saying it all along, is you've got to get rid of these executive jackoffs, uh, EEO lady uh, Neil, because she's going to write the position statement on this because it's it's a it's a discrimination thing against you know the sanitation worker. It's a federal case, so so th the way that works is that they filed their case on Tuesday, right, and then DSNY will have X amount of time to respond to it. So they haven't issued a, an official um, position statement. And when they do, we'll, we'll have a look at that. Um, but that's all I want to say is that uh, you know how many millions of dollars that's going to cost the city? These people don't give a shit. You think, you think Teresa Neal is losing sleep over costing the city $2 million in another, another, yet another lawsuit, a federal lawsuit? Corporate counsel, all the lawyers they have to put together and all the... All the shit they have to go through and, and money spent to, you know, to um, fend off a legal team that's that has, you know, I mean, it's it's so well documented, the discrimination over there. Who knows? Maybe he has some recordings. Maybe <clears throat> maybe some people come come forward. But you got to get you, you, this. This woman's got to go. Right. EEO is is now. Now what we're seeing is that it is obstruction of justice. They try to get, if there's discrimination, what happens is they use EEO to throw the the uh, the victim under the bus. So the victim comes to EEO and they sit in front of Teresa Neal and tell them what happened. And, and then Teresa Neal turns around and accuses the accuser of a frivolous claim that there is no discrimination, right? That that's what's going on. I'm not taking the back. I'm not taking the side of the the Arab guy who decided to become a, you know, an overnight Arab and grow out his beard. You know, whatever. Who care? I don't care. I don't care if you grow your fucking beard. Who cares? I don't care. What I care about is that that you have an issue. You have you have a a blaring screaming problem of discrimination and, and falsification of documents throughout your agency and you've got one jerk off Miss Neal and her her EEO diversity inclusion department 
as the filter, as the as the the the, the make all judge all. all right. So we're not gonna we're not gonna stop until that lady's you know handcuffed. Maybe we'll see. Um, so now uh, it's Friday, and I want to. Uh, I put up a lot of a lot of the write-ups, and what we'll start. What, what, what's clear now to see to anybody with half a brain is that DSNY piles on false, falsified write-ups to attack their adversary. Right? That's how they do it, and then they they justify it by using. Um, hey, little guy! I don't want to put him on camera. It's a little little fella in the bar. Uh, so. So uh, it's a YouTube channel. Hey, man. What's up? Um, so anyway, I forgot what I was going to say. Kids kids take away my breath. See the back of his head. He had a big smile. He's like, <laughs> uh, take my breath away. I play music for kids. I love kids. So, um, oh, yeah. So damages. That's what I want to talk about. It's like. That, that we know we know the problem we know we know the problem we know where it is what I what uh oh that's what I was saying about the write-ups the write-ups a- anybody with half a brain will now see that the uh, that the use of punishment in terms of foot patrol and and the use of write-ups and anyone who goes down and and quote challenges the operation exposes the corruption quote <clears throat> Uh, gets thrown under the bus, gets attacked, gets gets. Um, okay, so we see that now. And now, what um, what are what's Conti's damages? What are the damages now? It's two years later, and you might look at these, you know, videos of recent and say, oh, well, Conti, there's nothing wrong with him. What what dam- What's his damage? Well, there are, you know, two years of, you know, d- devastating financial, you know, depravity and. You know, if you look at some of my earlier videos, I was very paranoid for a long time. I still am. I always look at the back of the camera to make sure no one's going to, you know, jump out of the weeds. Or when I cross the street, am I going to get hit by a garbage truck? Or, you know, so there's, there, there are lasting, you know, I, I have serious doubts of ever working for the city of New York again, you know, because of the, because of the, 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 the lack of intervention. So my damages are are real and escalating and will continue to escalate until these people uh, fess up. So so that's where we're heading um, next week. I, I told you that there, I have a a surprise big big guy, big people possibly entering the picture. It's not the federal case. That's something different. They're on their own. Good luck. Um, but something that could be uh, something that we've all been waiting for that that's what i'm hoping uh comes out of it so peace out have a good weekend see you sunday